wings and got a chance as they busted down the right side. Tanner Sorensen coming across. Shot, save made. Rebound is in the back of the net. Rebound off the goaltender. Come right out. The defense didn't have any chance to do on the board early, and that's not what we wanted to see. So it's one nothing Kalamazoo, not even a minute into this one. Yep, Ferguson played his last game the other night. Who wants this? We're coming out to center ice. Wilson, Here is Haas Wilson. with Wilson. They go right at it. Look at Haas with a one shot to Wilson. Now he's jamming away at the head. Now they lock up. Haas is going to knock him down, and he goes to the ice. The guy, 5'10", 180 pounds. Haas, one of the bigger guys around, and he's had quite a few penalties, 6'2", 195 pounds. And he got a couple of pretty good haymakers off on him. <coughs> so they'll each on the near side. Here's a centering play. Shot saved by Ferguson. Ferguson. Save. Got the right leg on it, and he'll hang on to it. Kalamazoo, good for and Now it's set up along the right side. Here is Brett McKenzie. McKenzie trying to go end-to-end -end here. Drops it Shaw, off to Shaw. In, in front, he shoots, Shot he scores! scores! There you go, Shaw. Brady Shaw with a backhander yep. on the feed from Brett. The net, Comets ahead. Get their goal they want, two to one. Brady Shaw's team leading 22nd goal of the season. Brett McKenzie will get the assist. 7-10 that came at. That is McKenzie's Shaw. 18th point against Kalamazoo this season. We'll see. Puck is going to go to in. Edmondson. A shot and a save made by Ferguson. Yeah. Second period here at the Coliseum. 2-1 Kalamazoo. As the Comets picking up the offense here. They put it right on front. Score! Dump it in. Get in quickly. Take. They tie it up. Talks about in the pregame how disastrous second periods have been, been, been for the Comets this year. But right now tonight, it's been their best. Two goals here in the second. We're tying. McKenzie gets around one man, goes behind that, puts it out in front. Bouncing puck score. It's in the net. Comets take having a look at this one. As we take a look at the replay, the puck went right up in the air and it goes off of Shaw. Now whether and he, he gets pushed behind yeah. by the defenseman, so now the only question is whether it was a kicking motion or not. Didn't appear there on the first look. It looks like Shaw was just sliding into the net. It went off of him, and it yep. got under the leg of Hildebrandt. Yep, it should be a good goal. He having a look at this one. As we take a look at the replay, the puck went right up in the air, and it goes off of Shaw. Now whether And he, he gets pushed behind yeah. by the defenseman, so... Now the only question is whether it was a kicking motion or not. Didn't appear there on the first look. It looks like Shaw was just sliding into the net. It went off of him, and it yep. got under the leg of Hildebrandt. Yep, it should be a good goal. <coughs> defenseman was on top of Shaw. His momentum pushed him through the crease in the net. Same crew as we had last night. Andrew Bergerman is our referee. And he right. goes in to have a look. He had to review one last night in Cincinnati that also went the way of the Comets. So we got 8.40 to go here in the second period. And we have got our first review of the game. <laughs> Comet fans, if you follow the comments on Twitter or Facebook, look for the Lancia Homes game recap after each game. Then go to lanciahomes.com to start building your dream home today. Comets off tomorrow. Got a bit of a rest after two games and two nights. Kalamazoo back in Kalamazoo. Toledo going in there. So another big game for Kalamazoo for the playoff stretch. It would be nice to see them win that one, us win this one, and gain on to Toledo. Indy, they are idle tonight. Comets come in four points up on Indy in the standings. And Andrew Brueggemann, our referee, taking his time with this one. Like you said, Rami, taking yeah. a look at it. Didn't look like Shaw. Yeah, I don't think there's no, kick, there's no kicking motion. The point is whether he was in the crease before the puck got there. And I don't think it did. So we get another went, look at it. Actually it. went off the Kalamazoo player there, hit Shaw in the, in the pants, and went in the net. And goal. it's a good goal. Before the puck got there. And I don't think it did. So we get another went, look it at it. Actually went off the Kalamazoo player there, hit Shaw in the, in the pants, and went in the net. And goal. it's a good goal. Right, now up top it comes. Here's Stowe with a drive. A save made. Got behind him. Scores. 
Got behind Ferguson. Well, there was a shot down. 3-3 is our score. And again, the Comets giving up a goal in the final minute of the period. that came out. That's three periods in the last two games. The Comets have given up a goal in the final minute. Here we go. First 20 minutes up on the scoreboard. And the Comets start off with a shot. It's score! Right Sean! A little tip on it in the net. Comets take the lead 4-3. Exactly what they needed. There's the shot. Here's the rebound. Sidlowski in. Just squeezes it in past the pad as the goaltender sprawled out. Sidlowski gets the Comets the lead. And that's how you start up a third period. A big one for the Fort Wayne Comets and Sean Sidlowski. Brady Shaw joins Sean St. Amon and Anthony Petrozelli, all with hat tricks this season. And the Comets turning this into a pretty good third period already with two markers. Makes it 5-3. to three. McKenzie will get the draw and the assist, I would imagine, as Shaw gets it. He rips one right through the... Bowden's with it. Top of the right circle. Slides it over. Man in front. It goes Couldn't wide. It. Rebound. Score! Alan Lasarczyk. Lasarczyk from a bad angle. Everybody high five in Dylan Ferguson. Now, hopefully, he can make this two goal lead stand up in another 646 or 649 to go in the third. Amont with it. Here's nope. McKenzie entering the zone all alone. He shoots. Scores! In the box! <laughs> Brent McKenzie. Pretty good scoring chance just before that. But McKenzie set him up in the high slot again. One timer. Goaltender was out of position. Puck is in the net. 7 4 Comets. Good win, guys. And here's the face-off. Going to go all the way back to Ferguson. Ferguson will stop it. And the Comets we'll it. win it. Big win. A big two points in the standings. Toledo lost tonight. One to nothing. Whoa. So the Comets able to gain ground on second place with a big win. Seven.